Welcome to part two. Now, whenever we are looking at a spread, we are always looking at the birth card and the yearly spread when we first start. And you saw earlier how to change to the different spreads, seven week, weekly, which has the daily cards. But also we can look at different cards, like their planetary ruling card spread, their jack spread. If they're a Scorpio, we can look at their second planetary ruling card spread. The queen, the king, the first karma card, and the second karma card. Just so everybody knows, I rarely use the Jack, Queen, and King spreads. Uh, and, I, and I never use the Karma card spreads, except for fun, for research sometimes. But you're, they're there in case you want to use them, in case you want to look at them without having to look them up in the book and flip them back around. No matter what card spread you're looking at, if you click on one of the cards in the spread, you can get the meaning of that spread by just by bopping on it there one time. There's the Five of Diamonds, there's the Queen of Spades, and it tells you the meaning of that card in the period that it's in. Here's their Pluto card, Jack of Clubs, for example. When you're looking at a meaning of a card, you also can switch on over to the basic meaning of the card, which is that meaning of that card devoid of any positional influence. So we'll click on this, and we have the basic meaning of the Jack of Clubs, which sometimes can give you additional hints about how to interpret that card in that period. And you can click the button again to go back to that positional influence card. Meaning, I mean. The other thing you can do is you can copy this t text to the clipboard. And it says this, this text is now available through your Windows clipboard. Use the paste command, control V, to paste it. So now we have this in the clipboard. I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to bring up a notepad, Windows notepad window, which, you know, this could be like an email program, right? Let's say you're looking up your friend's cards and they want to send them the email of what their cards are. You just click edit and paste. And here are, is the entire interpretation that you were just looking at in your screen. Copied and pasted for you, which makes it really handy to share this information with other people. Whenever there is an auspicious event for the current year or period, this button will appear. Some years, it won't be there. It'll be missing. Like here, like age 42, there is no auspicious event button for this birthday. But today there is, and when you want to look at those, you just click on the button, and you'll notice that this is your rebirth year, this is major completion year, and you have the king of spades long range. For this particular person, those are all the auspicious events happening for the current year. 